Okay, welcome everyone. We're on site today. We're in Arlington, Virginia. We're with Beautiful Home Services. Very interesting job. We're about to peek in on five, count them, five bathrooms being remodeled all at once. We're gonna be here over a span of several weeks, starting in the basement, working all the way up to the master bathroom, complete makeovers. We're gonna meet the contractors. They're gonna take us behind the scenes and tell us what makes up a successful bathroom remodeling job. Come on inside, we're gonna go take a look. Okay guys, welcome to the inside. We're here today with Andrew and Craig from Beautiful Home Services. Now remember, very interesting job site. Again, there are five bathrooms on site. Every single one of them is getting a full remodel. That means from the small powder room downstairs as you enter, all the way up to here to the master bath. So, Craig, can you start us off? Tell us a bit about the project and what's lying ahead for us over the next two, three weeks. Sure, so what we've got here is a full master, what we call gut job. Everything's coming out here from the vanities to the shower to the tub. Um, the tub is an interesting tub. We've got a jacuzzi tub here and we're gonna be replacing it with another jacuzzi tub, which means it will have a motor, it will have electrical requirements, which are very important to us to get in the proper locations and to have access to. Right now, a major problem that we're dealing with is the power for the jacuzzi tub is all the way on the other side of the bathroom. So if you want to turn the timer on or extend your time, you've gotta get out of the tub to get to it. Oh, wow. So we're gonna have to move that switch all the way over to the other side of the bathtub so they have access to that area. Right. The other major concern we have is the shower unit. The shower unit is a very old shower. So what you can see is the grout really looks like it's a problem. Uh, the shower line is a problem and they've had some leaking in here. So what we need to do is we need to demo this whole shower. We need to put in a proper rubber liner, a cement shower pan, poured cement shower pan, and really firm things up in there. Those are our major concerns and then everything else is mostly aesthetic. Yeah. One of the biggest complaints that I get from homeowners when I go in to look at a bathroom remodel project is black or red or gray mold that are growing on the shower walls or the shower floor. Um, they say no matter how often we clean the shower that this mold keeps coming back. And really what the problem there is that over time water has penetrated behind the tile and has gotten the usually drywall substrate wet and no matter what they do the moisture won't dry out of the drywall and it continues to grow mold so mold is actually growing from the inside out so they could clean that shower three times a day it doesn't matter the mold is going to continue to grow so one of our uh, jobs is when we remodel that bathroom to make sure that that problem doesn't recur and we do that by using different substrates behind uh, the tile either on the tile floor or on the shower walls and Craig is going to talk a little bit more about the materials that we use so we've got a lot of different materials staged here we've got uh, our green drywall our Duroc we've got what's called den shield and then we've got our steel tub so first our main product is what we put on the floor and that's our Duroc so Duroc is a cement based product Duroc is going to not harbor any moisture but it will absorb moisture so that's why it's appropriate for the main floor, but not appropriate for the shower walls. A lot of people use it on the shower walls, but it will still uh, keep some moisture in it. It will release that moisture, but it will hold moisture, and that's a problem. So on showers, we're using the Den Shield. Den Shield actually has a waterproof coating on the outside. So that is not going to allow any moisture penetration. Uh, that's a really key feature. A lot of companies are not using Den Shield. They're using a, a, a Duroc product or a cement-based product, and that really is holding some of that moisture, and we want to prevent that. Then on the rest of the walls, we use what's called a green board. So that's a moisture-resistant drywall. This is what they used to use in showers. That's the product that Andrew sees the most breaking down behind the tile, causing mold and mildew problems. We don't want to see that in showers. A lot of people put that in showers. It's the wrong product to use. And then lastly, our steel tub. I love these tubs. We have a lot of different options for tubs. We have vinyl tubs, we have steel tubs, we have cast iron tubs. The steel tub is the greatest balance. It is an inexpensive tub, but it gives you the strength and durability of a cast iron tub without the price or weight. It's one of our most favorite products to use in different homes. And our clients here who really have discerning tastes still love this cost-effective steel top.
we're seeing the after today. This is the master bedroom. This is quite a spectacular before and after. Guys, can you walk us through the process again? I know you were initially engaged. It was a full house makeover of every single bathroom in the house, all five. Walk us through that. So uh, the other bathrooms, we did a lot of really cool things. Uh, we upgraded the drywall to a waterproof drywall. So uh, that gave them a lot of water protection. We also upgraded all the fixtures, tile, things like that. Uh, but most of those are your standard eight by five bathroom. Mm -hmm. This on the other hand was a much more involved project. We put in a new whirlpool tub, a stand-in shower mm -hmm. that is much better waterproof. We have Den Shield, which is a commercial waterproof drywall. Right, we saw and, that in the garage. Is yes, that sir, called, right? exactly. Okay. And that is now properly flashed into the shower pan that was currently leaking before we got started. Mm -hmm. uh, and we upgraded the vanity yeah. and all of the lighting in this bathroom. Yeah, and I'll say one of the first things I noticed was this. What a transformation. The vanity, the cabinets that came in here. Um, so generally speaking, this is something where the homeowner, you, they work through choices with you. This looks like just a fantastic choice for this bathroom. Um, I know. Tell us a bit more about that process, I guess. So, well, you know, when we first got started in the uh, with the consultation phase of the estimate, I asked them what you know some factors were that they really did not like about this bathroom. One was obviously the leaky shower pan, right. which we were able to take care of by rebuilding the shower pan and doing the den shield that Craig spoke about. The other thing was the storage in the vanity area. They really just felt it was just two cabinets. There was the empty space below the sink that was very hard to use. So we were able to help them pick out some cabinets that as you can see have drawers in them and also this nice vanity tower uh, in the middle which allows a lot more effective use of the space for them. So uh, the wife can store her makeup, they have the hair dryer stored, you know, a medicine whatnot uh, and it makes for just a, a more clean, more functional uh, bathroom. Yeah, it sure does. So it's effectively listening to the pain points I guess during the initial consultation and then drafting the plan backwards from there. Guys, job well done, could not be more impressed. It looks fantastic. Thanks for joining us.